Now, Kenya has lifted visa restrictions on Indonesian passport holders. Speaking today after holding bilateral talks with the Southeast Asian country's leader, Joko Widodo, President William Ruto, said that in line with Kenya being open for business, the relaxation and a progressive abolition of visa restrictions to entry by Indonesians was paramount. Ruto and Widodo's discussions touched on a trade and investment, as well as collaboration in higher education, basic education and vaccine development. Nairobi signed four memorandum of understanding with Jakarta, as well as a letter of intent to strengthen collaboration on the promotion of investment flows between the two countries. This visit by Your Excellency reaffirms the strong bonds of friendship between our nations and show our interest in deepening and strengthening our partnership to enable us thrive now and into the future. The instruments that have been signed here will go a long way in providing the necessary environment for us to scale up that trade. I have also agreed with my good brother, President Widodo, and our delegations that we will be working on a preferential trade agreement between our two countries that will be concluded, as has been instructed by the President and I, in the next 90 days. We have additionally discussed the importance of entering into a bilateral investment treaty, as I have said, that will provide a stable and predictable investment environment, which is a precondition for accelerated private sector investment. We have tasked our two joint teams to finalize these pieces of agreements. I have informed uh, His Excellency the President that Kenya is open for business. A significant step in this direction must remain the relaxation of and progressive abolition of visa restrictions to enter or to entry between our two nations. On our part as Kenya, we have taken the decision to extend the visa-free entry not only to holders of diplomatic and service passports, but to all holders of Indonesian passports.